SM's new monster girl group Espa debuted with Black Mamba and received a lot of praise from K-pop fans, there is speculation that there will be more members added to the group. Who are these female trainees that could join the already addictive group? There are some exciting well-known names and English speakers that could bring a whole new look to Espa. And yes, more virtual members too, you know, you can't forget about that. Now like I always like to say, before looking forward, I always like to look back. And real quick before we get into it, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Let's talk about you for a second. Yeah, you. I know your dirty little secret. You can't hide it from me. You love K-pop, and I do too. No, seriously, but my real question is this. Haven't you found yourself just smiling and nodding whenever there's a live stream, TV show, or a video with your favorite group in it, and it has no subtitles? <laughs> you know what? I, I, I have no idea what's going on. And that is the exact reason I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, Rosetta Stone. Now, yes, you've heard me talk about Rosetta Stone on this channel before, but there's a good reason why. Rosetta Stone has been helping people learn languages for over 25 years. And they made it simple for anyone no matter if you have an advanced or beginner level understanding of a language. Now for me, I would say I have a um, elementary level of Korean, but I mean, I'm honest. But one big reason that Rosetta Stone helped me in Korean and a reason that I love the app is check this out. It helps me speak the language immediately so I know my pronunciation is correct and it also gives me useful phrases I would use every day. You know what? I'll just show you. Check this out. You know, we know that's eating, right? Okay, so I elementary. Okay, some of that may be elementary to you. Of course, you're more advanced than me. That's aside from the fact. But Rosetta Stone offers up to 25 languages including Korean, up to 250 hours of immersive lessons per language, and unlimited access to the app on the PC or mobile. And now Rosetta Stone is offering a new price for the lifetime membership for only $179. That means you get everything I mentioned forever with the one-time purchase now at the low price of $179. So I'd say that this is the best time to get Rosetta Stone and start learning Korean or any other language they offer. If you're interested, be sure to use my link down in the description to get Rosetta Stone today. Big thanks to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring, and now, back to the video. Now, SM Entertainment has one of the best trainee systems among the top K-pop companies. I mean, look at the diversity in concepts between SES and TVXQ, to Girls' Generation and EXO, to now Red Velvet and NCT. Now, many top stars in K-pop came from SM Entertainment, even though they didn't debut there. All thanks to what SM Entertainment calls SM Rookies. Created in 2013, SM Rookies is a pre-debut team of trainees from SM Entertainment, selected to get more experience than other trainees. One of the first trainees to join the program was future Red Velvet members Irene and Suki, and also future NCT members Taehyung, Mark, Johnny, Yuta, Ten, and much, much more. Through SM Rookies, they got to release dance videos, music videos, and perform on live stages with veteran groups in SM Entertainment, all before knowing they were actually gonna debut or not. And over the years, the SM Rookie program produced iconic idols and groups. You know, Red Velvet, NCT, Wavy, and the most recent group, Espa. But what about the trainees that didn't debut from the SM Rookie program? Where did they go? Why did they leave? And who could be joining ESPA? Over the seven years of SM Rookies, 30 official members were announced, 24 debuted. That leaves six trainees. But surprisingly, those six trainees all left SM Entertainment. Like Hyeren, a trainee from the UK, Hanso from South Korea, Yi Yang from China, Nami from South Korea, Kon also from South Korea, and Hina from Japan. And what's really interesting about all these cases is that many of them don't continue on a career in the entertainment industry. Hidden returned to the UK and post videos on her YouTube channel. Hanso, after SM Entertainment, debuted in a boy group called New Kid in 2019. Yi Young is looking for a new start after leaving SM Entertainment to join an audition program in China, then signing with the Chinese agency and debuting solo this year. Nami and Kon are probably the most popular SM trainees to the Korean public, but they left right before SM's debut in early 2020. And they too also don't seem like they're entering the entertainment industry again. And finally, Hina, who left SM in 2020, with no news about her. 
So it seems like there's no options for SM Entertainment. Where are they going to find the three trainees to add to ESPA, as rumors say? SM Entertainment has a lot more trainees than you think, with more coming in every week or every month. So here are the rumored three members that could join ESPA. The first rumor to join is Helen, a trainee that comes from Australia. It's not known how long she spent living in Australia, but I would expect Hennen to speak English. If she were to join, she would be the second English speaker in the group, behind Giselle, who studied in Japan at an international school. But adding even more English speakers to a group drastically changes the potential and what this group can achieve, not just in Korea, but around the world. I mean, just take a look at the biggest K-pop acts that made waves outside of Korea. They all have English speakers in them. And another member rumored to join is Reno. Now she is a Japanese trainee under SM Entertainment and her specialty is expected to be singing. Now Reno on the other hand would give Espa a boost when it comes to Japan. K-pop has been a predominant part of the Japanese music industry since the 90s. And the first to break the mold for Korean acts in Japan was another SM artist, Boa. So it would be safe to say that Espa is gonna be up there with top acts in Japan like Twice and Eyes One, using their Japanese members to their advantage. And the last rumor trainee is Ujo, which we really don't know anything about. We don't even have a picture of her. What we do know is that she is a Korean trainee, and uh, that's it. Building on the success of Espa's debut, SM Entertainment will expand their reach even more with international members, and of course the virtual ones too. Espa is gonna have all the weapons they need to be the next worldwide K-pop sensation. Just give it a second. Alright y'all, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. It's a little bit of a shorter one and I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth uh, because Espa is rumored to add more members and I think it's going to be a possibility from what I'm reading and uh, I just wanted to talk about the SM trainee system. I can go more in depth on another video talking about the trainee system of each K-pop company, uh, what I can find out and make an interesting video about that one as well, but uh, just a little bit of taste here. And what do you think about Espa adding new members like the ones I mentioned? Another English speaker, another Japanese member. They're building off of the success that K-pop has already made in Japan and now, and now much more recently in the US and Western audiences. Do you think the same way that I do that Espa is going to be a major player in the next generation of K-pop, especially in English speaking countries? Let me know all of that down in the comments below. And if you really enjoy this one, hit that subscribe and the bell so you don't miss a new video. Now I want to give a big shout out to the people on Patreon for supporting the channel and making more videos possible, especially our newest patron, Netizen Watch. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you all so much for supporting. If you want to support, head over to Patreon. Consider supporting for as little as $2 a month and that's it. But anyways, Wave, that's it for me and that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.